Okay, YouTube. It's your boy Ziggy Doom, man. Just wanted to share this with y'all. Get y'all take on it. And I guess kind of vent so. Now, I'm not a social person. Everybody knows that. I live in a small town. I don't care for small towns. I don't mingle with people here. I mind my business. I go to work. I go home. The end. So people, a lot of people here don't know me. But the people that do know me actually know me and not just seen me walking somewhere. They will tell you that I'm an okay person. I'm not out here in the streets being belligerent or like complaining or making loud noise. I don't even curse. Like I don't even be cursing. So the people that know me in this little town will tell you that I'm an okay person. People that don't know, know me, I don't know. I also know that I do fit a certain description. I'm completely aware of that. If someone doesn't know me and they small town minded, they could probably look at me and think the worst. Oh, he's probably a criminal or just released from prison or, or a vagrant or drinks, smokes and hangs out doesn't pay his bills, doesn't take care of it. You know, I get that, right? I fit that description for whatever reason in, in this small town. People that don't know me. So I, I take my daughter to volleyball practice. Yes, people that fit this description can take their children to volleyball practice and be there with them. The practice is an hour, so it didn't make sense for me to drop her off at the practice and then leave when it's for an hour. So I sit there with her during her practice. Now, there's no one else sitting around, right? There's no one else sitting in the bleachers at this practice. I'm the only adult male sitting at my daughter's volleyball practice. So I can kind of see how that in itself would look a little bit odd. You got this big black dude sitting down watching these girls play volleyball. And it's, it's it was a bunch of girls, high school girls, uh, middle school girls playing volleyball. So I can see how that may appear to look a bit odd. However, appearance doesn't always mean something is bad or something is wrong. And perception becomes some people's reality. So I'm sitting down watching my, you know, my daughter's volleyball game. You know, they're practicing. And this guy, I don't know who he is. Maybe he's a coach. Maybe he's some facilitator. Maybe he's the town mayor. I don't know who he is. But he walks up to me and he didn't ask for my name. He didn't introduce himself. He didn't even reach out for a handshake. He walks up to me in this very weird, quirky, uncomfortable manner and says, uh, hey, which child are you here to see? No, actually, he, he said, he said, which child is here to see you? That's what he actually said first. Then he switched it and said, uh, which child are you here to see? Now, I already knew, I already knew when he was when he came at me, it wasn't friendly, right? So he asked me, which child are you here to see? And I said, well, I'm here, you know, with my daughter. I'm here watching her practice. I said, it'd be kind of odd and strange if I was just sitting here, not related to anyone, watching these girls practice, don't you think? And then he, he, he goes, yeah. So now he's trying to make small talk, but it's not the small talk that you make when you're trying to get to know somebody. It's the small talk you make when the moment is awkward and you don't really care about the person that you're talking to, but you don't want to just walk off and make it seem like you clearly wasn't viewing them a certain way. So then he asks questions. Uh, is it the, the, the middle school or the high school? And I'm thinking to myself, you know, that it's not the high school. You was just out here with the high school girls. We got there a little early in the high school girls. I guess they practice early. So we were there a few minutes early, sitting there waiting for the high school girls to finish. So you know it wasn't one of those. So now you're trying to make small talk for no reason at all. So I just stopped talking and just continue looking at my phone. And then he, he walks off. Here's the thing, right? I, I tried... I try so hard not to bring race into stuff, right? Because everyone thinks that, oh, it, it's not, you know, you're just trying to bring race, yada, yada, yada. And, and like I said, this is a small town. These people are either related or they've known each other all their life. Most of them probably never left here, so they, they small town minded, right? 
They don't really understand certain things. And I've lived here for over a decade and I haven't had any major altercations with anyone because I mind my business. I don't interact. I don't socialize. I don't hang out in nobody's house. I go to work. I go home. The end. So the fact that he came to me asking that question, it wasn't as an introduction. It was clearly because he felt some kind of way about me sitting there. Now, if he would have, after he had the stuff, he said, hey, you know, uh, we just want to make sure that there's no 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 strange stuff going on with adults and kids because, you know, we have to protect. I get all that. If he would have said that, but his introduction, clearly he already had me pegged a certain kind of way. He, like I said, he didn't introduce himself. Hi, my name is. What's your name? He didn't offer to shake my hand, which is fine. He went directly to that question. Now, people can say, oh, it's no big deal. It's nothing, right? Like, oh, you, you're being overdramatic. And that's cool. My only, my only concern or care is, had I been, had I not looked this way, had I looked another way, and I'm sure y'all, you know, can can guess what that other way means, I don't think that man would have walked up to me and said that, those questions. He may not have even walked up to me at all. He may have continued going about his business. So that's what bothers me. And Believe it or not, people like me that fit this description, we do interact with our children and we do things for our children. Yes, we can go to our daughter's volleyball practice. But the way that guy came at me was was odd. You know, I didn't necessarily feel disrespected, but I did feel like I was profiled. Absolutely. So with that being said, you guys take it with a grain of salt or take it whatever, but this little town, yeah, y'all y'all have to do a little bit better in certain areas. I've had run-ins with the police, you know, fitting the description. Once again, I've gotten calls um, about, you know, firecrackers or whatever. But everybody else on the street was popping firecrackers, but I, only I got called about my firecrackers. So, and, and I brush it all off because at the end of the day, someone else's perception of me doesn't define who I am. But it was just so annoying to come at me. And I once again, I see I was the only black dude, the only adult, actually, the only male adult just sitting there. There was no other adults anywhere around. I, I get how it looked. But you could have came to me, or he could have came to me in a different manner. Absolutely. But don't make it so obvious that, hey, I don't know, something, something's off about this. Let me go, you know, you could have, he could have done that better. I may never see this guy again. This guy may never see me, may never watch the video, whatever. But all I'm saying is keep that same energy with everyone. I, 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 I wholeheartedly believe that man would not have approached me if I looked a different way, a certain way. I, I, I can almost, and that's where I have the problem with. You know, I don't, I don't try to do the race thing and, and all that, but I have to call stuff out how I see it. The way that guy came at me, he could have did a little bit better. So, with that being said, y'all, as always, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like, share, subscribe. Your boy Ziggy Doom, man. Till the next video, I'm out.